everyone, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got another NASCAR Racing 2003 race for you all today. This time, I'm going to be racing at DeCoin State Fairgrounds, located in southern Illinois. It's a mile-long dirt track, and for the mod, I am using the ARCA Racing Series modified version of the Gen 6 BR-15 mod. So we are about ready to go green. Doing a 60 lap race. I usually do a 25% race, which would have been 50 laps, but 50 felt a few too short. So I pumped it up to 60 laps. We got 100% difficulty, and we are just about ready to go green. There we go. I also made sure we'd have to pit at least once. Turn the pit stop frequency to two times. In the settings. They check up a little bit in these first few laps, in the tests that I did, but once I get a couple laps in, they're really fast. Whoa, we're three wide. Get up into fourth. Whoa. Shoot. Just barely into that wall. Barely nicked that wall. All right, we're good. We're good. I thought I overdrove that corner a little too much. All right, so it's about 30 seconds per lap, so if we stay green, this race should be done in about a half hour. 30 seconds per lap, 60 laps, 30 minutes, whoa. We squeezed our way right in front of the number 48. I believe this version of the mod has CTS physics as well. So it does feel better for dirt track racing. Remember a few months ago, I'd see a few uh, rerun ARCA races racing at DeCoin. I gotta get down here someday. It's like a five hour trip from my house. I'm gonna try to go to the ARCA race at Madison this upcoming year in 2019. So that's like an hour away. It's probably my closest ARCA race I can get to this year. I want to go to an ARCA race, an IndyCar race, a truck race, an Xfinity race, and a Cup Series race. I think all the NASCAR ones are going to get knocked out at Bristol. Let's start running this low line close to the guardrail like I see them doing in real life. It's only 19th. we got to get going. Right, let's try to get the bottom Ooh, that was close. I'm stripped up into the number nine car. Just trying to stay as close to that guardrail coming out of that turn as possible. So we will have to pit at least once. I believe uh, starting the race, once we get on the straightaway here, we'll check F3. Yeah, we're like 22, 23 laps shy of fuel, something like that. So I made sure we had two cans when we pit. I have no idea if a caution's gonna come out or not. Trying to catch the number 69 car, who I believe is Will Kimmel. I could be wrong on that first name. I'm not too familiar with too many of the ARCA drivers. So we have the general tire spoiler on all the cars. Try to run this bottom line. Don't drift up too much because we don't want to hit that guy, which we almost just did. 69, the 69 car. <laughs> what? That didn't even make sense. Alright, now the number three is our next target. Up to 16th. Nice and 
easy out of the turn. Still got the number 69 car right on our right on our hiney. Trying to stay close to that guardrail. I think drafting does a little something at this speed. Shoot. Stay low, stay low. Still gonna be there. Down to the guardrail. Get down to the guardrail. There we go. All right, now to track down 15th place on up. for a caution at this point. I don't know if I'm going to catch 14th place. I guess I am in 15th, but everyone ahead of me is pulling away from me, and I'm pulling away from everyone behind me. So I think we've reached the highest position we're going to get under green unless a caution comes out. Next straightaway we get on to, I'll uh, check to see how many, see what lap we're on. Only lap 12, wow, it felt like more. Completed 12 laps, so we're approximately, once we get down the back stretch, we'll be approximately 25% done with this race. Just move my microphone a little bit. I messed up that turn. I got in way too wide. Yeah, we're just ever so slightly pulling away from the cars behind us. But on that note, the cars in front of us are pulling away from us. So, unless a caution comes out, I think this is going to be the position we're going to finish in if we stay under green. I love these random mod and track combinations I've been doing recently. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. Definitely don't want to get on that darker part. That's basically the apron. If we hit that, we're gonna spin right out. I took that turn a little too wide. The number three car behind behind me gained about two tenths of a second. We're coming up on a lapped car, the 06. Okay, we got to be fast in turns three and four. Okay, let's get off the gas a little bit, turn down, and get up right next to this guardrail. Power on through, full throttle through the turn. There we go. And let's do the same thing right here. Just pretend the guardrail is right. Or that dirt turns darker. Perfect. Bastard. How dare you check up right in front of me. There we go. That was a good turn as well. I gained about two tenths of a second on the cars behind me. Now he's got to pass this next lap car and try to start reeling down some of the cars in front so I don't think we're going to. A lot of the cars after we get past this car in front of us are still a lap down. I think we gotta go to the outside for this guy. That's exactly what we did. Perfect.
I'll take a top 15. Granted, there's only like 24 or 25 cars in this race, but still. Top 15 looks all right on the stat sheet. But we still got about 60% of the race left and around the pit stops we need to make. So this thing is far from over. Let's see what lap we're on. Yeah, we're on lap 20. So we still got 66% of the race to go. Got about 13 laps left to fuel. Holy crap, we're gonna... We're gonna be cutting it close. We're gonna try to get down as close as possible to draining the fuel tank. So we wanna make it just one stop. So I'm just gonna set an F3 for a little bit so we can see how much fuel we got left. That was a bad turn. Took it way too wide. Not even going to pay attention to the standings of the other drivers. Just focus on running fast laps and checking my, my fuel levels. Whoa. Almost hit the outside wall right there. Good turn. Close to the guardrail. Perfect. Down low. There we go. Nice and smooth. Don't have to wiggle the steering wheel too much to do those turns. Any little wiggle of the steering wheel is what scrubs off speed. Get down to the bottom. Find a good angle. Nice and smooth. Corner exit, all staying full of throttle. We're going to pit on lap 32, I think, at the end of lap 32. I checked the the pit road speed limit. Oh, I forgot what it is. I think it's 40 or 35. I'll be careful coming into the pits. It's hard to spin out with this dirt, ironically. But yeah, we got a pit in about like no more than seven or eight laps. That I have the difficulty at 100. Adaptive speed control off. Yellow flags on. Double file restarts off. I think there's 24, 25. There's 25 total cars in this car set because there's 24 car opponent cars and then 25, including myself. So I've gained 10 positions in this race. If I finish at 15. Right, a couple more laps and we're past the halfway point. Is this another lap car we're catching? That red one? Yep, it is. Many lapped cars. Where's the next closest car for position behind me? Oh wow. I have no one near me for position behind me. However, I'm about seven seconds away from getting lapped.
Just gotta get a few laps past the halfway point to make sure we can make it on fuel with just one stop. Give ourselves a little cushion. Tire change. No damage, just two cans of fuel. On our pit stop. Now like yeah, we'll pit in a couple laps. We'll pit two laps from now. So next lap, we are going to pit. Are you kidding me? I did not mean to do that. The dummy checked up right in front of me. We gotta save fuel. Just coast right here. Coast and forth. We gotta make sure we don't run out of fuel before we get to pit road. We gotta make sure we don't run out of fuel before we get to pit road. Pit road is now open. We got a wreck on the front straight. Limit 55. Keep it under 4,500. In second, the pace car. Holy crap, that was close. We we started sputtering at the end. Two cans of fuel. Get me out of here. Go, go, go. Limit 55. Keep it under 45. 55. Man, we were sputtering. We almost ran out of fuel at the end. Shoot. Whoops. You guys didn't see that. I gotta make sure I don't exit pit road unsafely. That's why I'm not going. Yep. God damn it. That was my bad. Tried flying out of pit road too quickly. At least we'll have the positions on the few lapped cars we were ahead of. Shoot. Except all these guys in the pits right now we could have beat. Except there's no one in the pit, so never mind. We're gonna be at the end of the line. But we lapped a decent amount of cars, so... Shoot. That's a common theme in my videos, is me messing up in the pits. Actually, we're going back to fourth gear. Low RPMs to save fuel. Five laps to spare. Are we going green next time? Bye. Or one more. We're going green next time. Bye. All right. All right. So here is what brought out the caution. I was literally going to pit on this next lap, but this 06 checked up more than I thought he was going to. I hit him, he slid up, and into the wall he goes. 
Almost hit the 48, but able to keep it going. All right, so even after the black flag at the back of the line, we are starting in 11th position with 24 laps to go on this restart. Just about getting ready to go green. Gonna switch to the split time screen. Yeah, we are the last car in the lead lap, so we are 11th. There's apparently 11, 11 cars on the lead lap. Oh, lots of cars checking up. I don't like this. Careful going into this turn with the 18, yep. Whoa, he got tapped. Battle with Gustine for the top 10. There he is, right there. Oh, we have to get out of the gas so we can get down to the bottom. Full throttle. Get down here so we can get a better angle. Shoot, we just lost the top 10. We're back to where we started on the restart, 11th. Just one more spot for a top 10. need one more spot in the next 20 laps or so for a top 10. Shoot. 32 was right there. I had to get out of the gas. Took that at a bad angle, so I uh, just lost a lot of ground right there. Gustine, one of the few Arca names I know. Gain some ground right there. Just gotta be careful going into this turn now. Man, we lost a lot of ground right there, too. Alright, they're side by side. That's gonna help me. I'm just slows down to 32. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing, Gus? Just need to get past one more car to get a top 10. I'm gonna cross over, but... I don't trust him. He's been checking up randomly. ground actually. Darn it. Sorry for the moments of silence. I'm just trying to focus on getting us close to that bottom without hitting the apron and spinning myself out. Shoot. We are not good out of corner exit in turn number two. It's becoming evident. We're decent in turns three and four. It looks like turn two is our weak spot. See if we can take turn two a little bit better here. Side gusting for a second. Let's see if we can get the bottom advantage right here. There we go. There we go. Just 
One more slide job. Slide job! Look at that number 10 position. There it is. Got it. No! Holy crap, that was a huge wreck. How was there no caution? We're still ahead of Gustine and he's pitting. How many laps do we got left? We got like 14 laps to go. If our engine can survive like 13 more laps. Still might be able to get a top 10. Just gotta let these lap cars pass. We gotta let the lead, whoops, gotta let the lead lap cars pass us. I'm running high, you guys have the bottom line. There you go. Shoot. There. Still might be able to get out of this with the top 15 because it looks like Frank Kimmel in 11 is probably going to pass us. But man, after how much we got airborne right there, if we can still just finish this race, let alone get like a top 15, that would be a miracle in itself. We were doing so decent. And it took a turn for the worse right there. Oil pressure's dropping, shoot. We gotta make it 10 more laps. No, our car's about to die. You can see the, the brightness dropping in my dashboard lights too. My oil pressure's dropping. Oh no, that was just the the weather. Come on, just last like nine more laps. Just last nine more laps. Yeah, it's just going down the back stretch. It's a different uh, the shade. So yeah, never mind. That's not, nothing to do mechanically with the brightness of the dashboard. The oil pressure is dropping a little by a little. Wasn't quite as much as I thought it was dropping by. <sighs> Darn it. I feel stupid. I feel like that wreck didn't even need to happen. I just overcorrected and turned it right into the outside wall. Now we're not even going to get out of here with the top 15. And yes, either when my engine dies or this race is over, I will show you guys the replay of what happened, obviously. And right on cue. <laughs> Looks like we lost that motor. Ugh, darn it. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. Sounds about right. Yep, that wreck was definitely deserving of a yellow flag. It just took about 10 laps for it to come out. So coming on the back stretch, I'm in the number 28. The 23 checks up. I hit him, rear end him, I overcorrect, I get into the 32. I go flying through the air and the 32 gets on his side. Big wreck for both of us. Here's one more look at it. Jeez, big wreck. And that, eventually, is what ended our day. 
All right, so we're going to try to call the tow truck, but obviously our the pace car, in turn two. car is going to be dead. We're going to skip forward to when the, the towing on the back timer is down to zero. All right, we are about five seconds away from hearing. The pace car, on the back it's over. We can't fix the damage. It's over. We can't fix that damage. Yep. All right. The pace car in turn. So we retired. We're going to accelerate to see who wins the race. Creed that wins the race. Alright, thank you very much everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch if you are interested in following me on any one of those. And last but not least, if you would like to help support this channel, if you'd like to be so kind, please go check out my Patreon page down in the link below. Thank you so much to Adria Fitzy. Jay Barker and drive through for your support. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Leave any suggestions you have for future videos you want to see me do down in the comments below. Peace. Bye.